friends and welcome back to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are going to seed our database by using the factory and seeder command of the Laravel. And I will introduce you with the faker library we will use in this episode. So with that, I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's just see what we have. If I go to my sublime on the database folder, I have factories. And remember last to last episode, I have created these two factories for seeding purpose. So before going that, I will go to Chrome and I will say here, Faker library. Okay. And here we will get this GitHub repository of Faker library. So Let's go for PHP library to generate fake things. So you can see we have this. We are not going to get this because we already have Laravel, already have this faker. And what we have to do, we have to create everything according to our database. In our products table, we have the name. So in our product factory, I have to say here, firstly, name will be dollar faker arrow and what we have to say we have to get the name so and this is not actually a name of any person this is the product name so that not has to be in the name we cannot use faker name so what we have to do we have to use lorem that means any word or any kind of random word okay so let's just use that so i will say faker then word that's very nice and then we have the detail for that uh, product so again we use faker and now you can see again product detail has to be something paragraph so let's use paragraph so paragraph and then we have what we have the price stock and discount that's good so here comes price price again faker arrow and because price has to be between some number so let's see for the number system what we have you can see number between so we can use this number between okay so let's use this number between and between let's say a hundred to one thousand that's good then we have stock and stock has to be any random digit so random digit we can generally use random digit so faker arrow random digit and last one discount and obviously the discount we can give faker arrow again number between number between let's say i'm going to give discount from two percent to let's say thirty percent it doesn't matter Okay, so we have created the faker factory to create the faker product details. So next is our review. For review part, we have just limited things. So that should be customer. And yeah, we know that customer is a person which having a fake name. That's good. Then what we have, then we have the review. And again, review has to be again a faker arrow paragraph then a star here come a star a star rating how much rating you have given so faker and i think you guess we try number between number between yeah that should be zero to five and everything is set up but here comes the most important thing for creating this seeding we have one more thing which is called product underscore id how we will give the product ID from faker because we are going to create the product before review so we have to get the product get some random number random ID of the product and then put it here there are lots of way of doing this thing okay so I'm using this if you want you can use anything else because on our level documentation we have factory part so factory 
and the writing factory part you can see there are lots of way of creating these kind of thing so you can just read it if you want my help i'm always ready for you okay so how we will get so here i will say product model then i will say all give me any random number okay but that has to be inside a function so that has to be function inside okay so let's just return all of these things give a comma here everything is set up we just need to seed this how we will seed all these factories to seed we have this seeds folder where we have database seeder you can see we have this command if we have seeder for the user table but we are not going to deal with user table we just want factory and factory of what factory of app model product and give it a class and how much products we need let's say 50 we want to create 50 so let's use create similarly after getting the product we need review okay and i will get review let's say uh, 300 so that each product must have one or two or at least three product okay so this is create and now we just need to run this everything is set up let's just go to terminal and before that let's just verify everything <laughs> so in the product name detail price stock discount so here comes and name detail price stock discount great nothing to worry about then for review product id customer review star product id customer review star very nice so close these things go to terminal php artisan db colon seed and let's just do it like this <laughs> okay so hit enter and oops product not found yeah because on our factory review factory we have to import this so i'm using php companion if you want you can directly write it at the top but it's good to have find use php companion and that's nice let's go here seed and doing something doing something doing something yes everything is good no error let's go here refresh yeah we have 300 reviews and 100 products so you can see this product is related to this reviews or i can say reviews is related to the product and this arrow represent that it is a foreign key and i think if you are on windows you will use php uh, my admin the zamp vamp type things maybe this is not there but we have created successfully and everything is good so let's just push everything to github so that you will get everything and let's see git add all i'm not going to get the status part so git add all but <laughs> wait 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 we need we need what we need <laughs> the database so let's just say export and this time also sql export that now go here to reveal part and here comes our new database and i'm going to replace that okay that's good let's go to terminal once again let's say get a status oops get status yeah correct <laughs> no problem then git add all get a status everything is committed on the staged and then git commit m flag here comes the very important thing which is the message and migration uh, not migration seeding part for product and review hit enter everything is good git push and it will push on github repository so where is our github repository which is here refresh and five commits so we have this 
and this feeding part for reproduction review. If you want the database for up to this tutorial, you will go here, browse repository, then go to DB, and here is this. Okay, so we will meet in the next episode so to create something new. And till then, don't forget to subscribe, like BitFumes on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.